A great afternoon at Maryland Stadium for the Terps. Maryland 42-13 over the Minnesota Golden Gophers. I'm Wayne. This is intern Mason. Bruce is away from the microphone today. Mason, what did you see out there? Well, last week I said nothing or not a lot that I liked. This yeah. week, everything that I liked. 42-13 to kind of says it all. Um, we were spot on about Minnesota. They can't really throw the ball. Their offense is really limited, especially without their top, their leading rusher, Rod Smith, and it really showed today. But other than that, Maryland's offense was back. Offense was back. The offensive line looked pretty good today. Uh, a couple guys still out, but Derwin Gray back on the field. Uh, Terrence Davis at guard back on the field. Moore to center. Uh, they had Sean Christie at guard, and Marcus Minder got the start at tackle. And then Marcus Minder gets hurt, and it's Ellis McKinney gets in there a bit today. But the offensive line did their job, a couple of big runs. Yeah, the return of Terrence Davis, Derwin Gray, and on one of those plays, Bruce pointed it out from home, and he said, man, Terrence Davis looks good. He got injured. He went down once, uh, came back in the game, but... We said it last week, you lose three, you're in trouble, but two guys come back and we were rolling. Right. Uh, other guys who didn't make, didn't get dressed today. Um, let's see, who didn't? Let's we'll start with Damian Prince. Yeah, Damian Prince got a shot of him on the BTN feed today and uh, sweats. We still don't know what the injury is. Nope. Johnny Jordan uh, was out today. Looks like he has an ankle issue. Number 91, Adam McClain, out today. And, of course, Jake Funk. Lolo did not play today. So this was this is what we expected to see, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I, I would say that. I didn't expect the 42 points after the showing last week. But when, you know, this offense gets going, it's hard to stop. It is. Okay, so one of the things I really like is when one of these running backs, you got a shot here, the guy's celebrating. When one of the running backs scores, all the running backs have a celebration. I think they have a good room. The running back room is actually tight. They enjoy each Two other. Plays. It was nice to see Ty Johnson yards, gets a big run. Some of those McFarland runs, oh my God, he's, he's outstanding. Well, you quickness. really get to see why he was that number three running back in the country before his injury in senior year of high school. Um, but how many guys out here do you say, as you said about something else the other night, when you watch a football player with all these pretty good players out here and one of them makes you just go, wow, that guy's good. That's Ant McFarlane right now. Yeah, and to me, um, that's the kind of players that the Ohio States, the Michigans, the Penn States get. That's, that's the difference right there. You see them, two Minnesota defensive backs chasing them, and they just can't catch them. That's, that's your difference. And oh. Maryland's got one or two or three of those guys on this field, and you're going to go up against teams that play that caliber of player, but it's nice to see one of them back it's on nice our side. To, yeah, it's nice to see them on our side. We're going to talk a little bit of the defense, a little bit of stats when we come back. This is the Viner Forgates postgame show here at Maryland Stadium. The Terps take it 42-13, and here's a word from our sponsor. So while you might think of technology as being secondary to your core business, the reality is that without it, many companies would find themselves at a complete standstill. And as we all know, time is money. That's where our fully managed approach to IT can help. With proactive remote monitoring and management, we're able to keep tabs on your IT infrastructure 24-7, 365 days a year. We'll provide the monitoring, technical support, and the full problem resolution you need to stay productive. Want to learn more? Drop us a line today to see exactly how we can help keep your systems running smoothly and keep you focused on what matters most, growing your business. The defense, Mason, the defense did show up today. For a while, it was just the penalty yardage that was keeping Minnesota in the game. Minnesota did make some plays. I'm a little worried. Both safeties went out. Darnell Savage had a savage hit on the sideline. He goes out, and then Richardson goes out. Tell me a little bit about Deion Jones and Jordan Mosley, who came in to replace them. Well, Keith told us in our preseason podcast that Jordan Mosley's a really good player, true freshman right now. 
he got out there, he made some good plays, made some bad plays, you know, what you expect out of a freshman. Deion Jones, good counsel, was the second highest rated player of the 2017 class, took a red shirt year last season. Now he's out there on the field, was supposed to play corner, now it's safety. I like him there, but what I like that we did not see was them make mistakes. They didn't really make huge mistakes. They didn't get have blown coverages. They picked it up right where the other guys left off, given that Minnesota can't really throw the ball. Trey Watson, big game. He has the pick six. He is an explosive hitter. He makes those tackles, and you can see that that's an explosive play. Uh, so I, I really like that. Uh, Brooks had a pretty good game. Talk about the defensive line finally getting home a couple times. Yeah, we finally saw a team that was expecting the run be able to stop the run. Mm -hmm. Now, I was just going to say as the game went on, we did still get pushed backwards, and I really don't like that. But when the plays mattered, a few fourth downs, a few third downs, we were able to get through the offensive line, get a hand on a guy, slow him down. Maryland Band starts up with the post-game tradition, and we have actually have a clip of the band playing right in front of us, so we'll go to that for a second. I like that Cowart made some big plays. Annie Bonham got a sack. The, the, there was pressure. The only thing I didn't like was that bit of prevent defense they ran, prevented them from making a play. Rushing three doesn't look so good. Rushing four and five, Maryland's making an impact. Well, that's a choice. That's a coordinator choice right there. Um, when I face a third and 15, am I going to say, let's play sticks defense? Let's, let's just you know, cover the 15-yard plus play. Or am I going to send pressure? Now, you, you're one even when we play the video games in our house. So you got to blitz. you got to bring pressure. If you're going to sit um, back, they're going to find a way to beat you. Yeah, the under route was beating us to the running back. Okay. I don't like it, but it's a play that a lot of teams utilize. We saw Maryland do okay. it a few times, and All right. that's so, kind of the way it works. The most of it we really liked. I, I, I love that Maryland got the ball with about seven minutes to go and ran what I call the Rigo drill. They ran out the clock with the ball all the way to the point where Chig Conquo scores his first touchdown as a Terp, and that was great to see. Overall, a really nice day. We have a press conference to get to. Any final words here? Yeah, a lot of good things happened today. It's nice to be back in the win column. Uh, we got the bye coming up next week. And we're favored over the bye this time. Yeah, yeah, we will be favored over the bye. Um, podcast coming out tomorrow. Terp talk on Wednesday. In the nest tomorrow morning. In the nest for the tomorrow Ravens. morning. That's we got a, the um, prostate cancer run walk tomorrow. Right, with Chesapeake Urology, and they've been a great sponsor to the radio show. So we'll be in Towson Sunday morning for that at Johnny United Stadium. And then on to the NFL. You can hear Mason and Jordan on the Young Terps podcast. And as always, just check out TerpTalk.com for all the archived radio shows, podcasts, yep. everything. That's your hub for Maryland sports. Oh, man. It's it's nice to be happy again here on the field. The band plays on. Mason, take us home. Thanks for watching this Terp Talk postgame show. Terps 42, Minnesota 13. It's a good day, and as Bruce says, drive safe.